Our next guest wows audiences as Alexander Hamilton in the smash hit musical Hamilton. He's also one half of the critically acclaimed entertainment team, the Kings of Soul and Swing. Joining us now ahead of his Bay Area concerts with the Bay Philharmonic, Julius Thomas III. Julius, thanks so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Oh, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So excited to talk about all of the things that are happening in your career. Now, you are traveling to the Bay Area this weekend. You have a show. Break it down for us what people can expect. Yes, the Kings of Soul and Swing. Our fun tagline is that we like to say that we're two guys with two incredible voices having too much fun. Uh, we're singing the music of Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, the Jackson Five, Earth, Wind and Fire. We just sort of hit all the bases and tell you some stuff about our lives and our careers. And it is a lot of fun. It does sound like it's going to be a lot of fun, and that's happening this weekend. But I would also love to touch on Hamilton the Musical with you, Julius. First and foremost, what has it been like working um, on that musical? And tell me, what can people expect when they come to a show? Yes, uh, so Hamilton has changed my life. I've gotten to perform for stars and presidents and first ladies and governors and all kinds of important people. I've gotten to help raise money for charities, uh, especially in Puerto Rico. We, I think we raised somewhere close to $5 million when Lin-Manuel Miranda rejoined the company. And uh, I got to sit down in the Bay Area for two years and perform in this incredible role. And uh, I'm just excited to be back now with my own show and uh, doing something different and bringing something new to the Bay Area. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. How, in what ways would you say that your, your new show is different and unique from some of the other work that you've done in the past, Julius? Yeah, so uh, most of the other things that I've done have been uh, book musicals where I'm playing a character. And in this show, I get to come out and talk to you guys as Julius Thomas III, tell you about my upbringing, tell you about some of the crazy stories that have happened in my life, like the times that I've worked with um, media mogul Barry Gordy, who created Motown, the music, uh, created Motown Records and Motown Musical, which I just happened to be in, uh, traveling the globe. And I'm working with my partner, my music partner, Mark Kapitsky, who is an incredible vocalist who has been with the Glenn Miller Orchestra for the past decade, touring the world, singing to audiences. It's, um, it's just a new thing that we're mashing up together, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And in what ways, Julius, would you say some of your previous work, acting, musicals, all those types of things have played into what you're doing now and helped shape you? Yeah, well, it took me a while to get to a point where I felt like I had anything to say in a, in a show like this. You, know, you want to have stories that are interesting and uh, stories that relate and touch people. And uh, so uh, this career that I've been on, it's been a steady, slow climb. I like to say it's like a, uh, a roller coaster going up and then we sort of take the ride. Um, and I've, I've gotten to a place now where I've had some really interesting things happen in my life. And I want to share it with people so that they can understand what it's like to be an actor, uh, to walk in the shoes of Julius Thomas III. And uh, I think that's the thing that sort of has come from all of my years now doing these amazing musicals. And speaking of all these years of doing these amazing musicals, like you said, you poured your heart and soul now into your own show. That way people can get to know you a little bit better and walk in your shoes. What type of production and hard work went into creating something all in your own voice? Yes. Oh, my goodness. So Mark and I have been building this show or some version of this show for about seven years now. We started, you know, trying to just figure out what it was that we wanted to do, what, what stories we wanted to tell, what songs we wanted to sing. And now we've come to a place where we feel like it's really, really put together and we've got a really bang up and interesting show that's a lot of fun, that um, touches on so many uh, great genres of music. And the two of us are so different and have had such different um, experiences in our lives that it really is interesting to see how we make it sort of fit together. But we do. <laughs> <laughs> what you do, and that's the most exciting part about all of this. Well, if there is one thing that you hope audience members take away from your show coming here to the Bay Area, what would it be, Julius? Well, we're going to sing you happy. Like, that's going to happen. We've got some really great music. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the earth, wind, and fire myself. Um, we're definitely going to sing down because both of us are accomplished vocalists. But also, we're going to connect with you. And we're going to have some fun. And we're going to dance. And you can come out and have a good time and get out of your seat. It's not going to be a stuffy symphony show. Uh, it's going to be a good one. So. 
really looking forward to it. And that's all happening this weekend here in the Bay Area. Julius, thank you so much. We appreciate your time here on Live in the Bay. Thanks, Olivia.